you're gonna be mind blown. I like can't believe you painted this, mom. Progress. Some things are happening. So this is what we were able to accomplish yesterday. I keep asking her if she packed her bag. I think a lot more people are gonna be like, why are you not living in the cottage? Why are you being in LA? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. We have actually been working on the kitchen. Uh, we started yesterday and uh, didn't get, I always forget how long doing trim work, act like the finishing work actually takes. So all we were really able to accomplish was going to the hardware store and trimming out this little section. Hold on, I'll put on my shoes and I'll show you. Which really well, <laughs> isn't the focus of my renovation video, but is something that needed to be done. Um, so we are up. I actually drank my coffee in my pajamas and actually caulked all of that area so that we could actually paint it because it needed to dry a little bit. So I let it dry while I got ready. We are ready to paint and move on to the boxed windows. I'm really, really excited to see some warmth in here. So this is what we were able to accomplish yesterday. Um, so I got this top kind of chair railing up trim and then the baseboards. What's not here is the quarter round that's on the floor because we actually have not sealed these floors in here yet. And so I wanna seal them first and then we'll put the quarter round. Then I did the, the plinths and then the trim up the sides of each side. So I need to put a piece up there and then the two rosettes in the corner and then this side the trim is is complete so we can paint it and then today we are working on the boxed windows and also the beams that are going up there so we went yesterday to the hardware store and picked up the supplies because I actually wanted stick and slate I actually wanted to use some better quality wood. Um, basically, we've just been having, having such a hard time staining the pine. It's just so inconsistent. And I don't know, I, I wanted these beams to be pretty cool, even though I was like, is this really where I should be using better quality wood up so high? But it's okay. So we actually got poplar wood and it's just beautiful. Like, look how smooth and nice and it's gonna have a really good texture. Still testing stains, but I did get some gel stains to test. So I'm just hoping that we can get something pretty and, and close. That's that's basically the goal now. It's been pretty difficult to match this old wood because obviously it's 100 years old. So it's been aging for a while, you know? So we're gonna work on this. I think my mom, my mom actually went to Louisiana to see my grandparents and Robbie. And then um, she's on her way, she was on her way back last night. So she got back and she's gonna come here later. She's actually launching a new art collection, which is beautiful. One I just don't wanna let go of, but she's, she said she painted me one. So she's gonna come over and we're gonna take the pictures. Um, I don't know, I need to stage them somewhere. Um, really pretty, but she's gonna come later. So we're gonna work on the kitchen for a little bit and see where the day takes us. Okay, it's been a few hours. Making progress on the kitchen, you guys. Like, progress. Some things are happening. Mom has made it here with some very pretty art. I just took the pictures. This one is my favorite. We, oh, we're writing the names right now. What did you say, Magic something? Forest Crest. We always fight about the names of the art. Forest Crest. Forest Crest? What does that mean? <laughs> what is that? You always hate my a name. I don't always hate your name. I'm just like, what is that? A crest is like a like a crest for a family of royalty. I thought you were gonna say toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> crest is also toothpaste. Anyways, let me show you some of the pieces. Well, all actually, these are all. So she has seven originals that are launching, and then digital downloads will be available as well. This is the one that I don't want to let go of. Look at this, you guys. Look at it. I like can't believe you painted this, mom. Like I'm, it took you forever, this one. Forever. Forever, she worked on this one for so long, but it was like worth every second. Like it's stunning. They look so real. Absolutely beautiful. I love the the frame pairing, and then they're all they're all so good. So this one, you guys really wanted one that was really similar to mine. She made it different, um, but it still has the same like aesthetic. Um, but when we added some fruit, and she kind of incorporated, she pulled up different like like different flowers and kind of took inspiration from each of them to incorporate them. So it has some color popping through. It's really pretty. And then like a sunrise over the poppy fields. This frame is like magnificent. Kinsley, come here. 
I love this one. This one's like very romantic flowers. I can see this in a bedroom. Where else could you see that flower? This one. I can see it in a bedroom. Powder bath. Like a powder bath would be really pretty. And then a vase of little poppies, which is really pretty. I love all of the like, it has a lot of green tones in it. Um, so it has like a lot of like depth. It's really pretty. And then this frame with this scene, this landscape of a lake is gorgeous. I love this. This one's giving me autumn vibes, but something you could leave up obviously year round. It's stunning. Um, and then there's one more that she's holding hostage over there. This, like what? What? I can't. And this is the one that we're currently coming up with a name for. It's kind of like a little bit of a, like a, a ranch. It's really pretty. It's like the leaves are starting to turn with like the barn and and the the gate kind of coming up. And it's, it's really pretty. I love how like the, the colors are just kind of like melding together. This one's really pretty. So these will all be available when you're watching this and whoever gets this little dreamy beauty, I'm jealous. Mom said she paid me one, but that's really pretty. Good morning, guys. We spent literally, I spent all day until 2.30 in the morning working on the kitchen. I was just, sometimes when I get into like a creative project, I see all these little things that need to be done and I just don't stop. You know, I just like keep going, keep going. And at least try to get to a natural stopping point so that I don't have to think about where I was in a project the day before, but it's like I finished something. So I can't wait for you guys to see the box windows. I can't show you a sneak peek because it's just that good. I feel like the, vi the vision for it's coming to life. And I only did one. It I like it took me all day. I had to build framing and then I had to like do trim and then I had to mix the stains and then but it was so worth it. But we are actually leaving for LA today. I'm so excited, but also like oh like I really want to do the other window, but as much as I want to do the other window, I don't have another rosette. I can't, for the life of me, I cannot find the little, the rosettes that go in the corner right here. I only have one left. And I did not find some that were like, I didn't pull the trigger on any buying them because I was worried that they weren't gonna match. I just hadn't gotten around to it. So I literally have one. I thought for sure I had one around here as like a sample, but I did get one done. So stay tuned. You will see that very soon. We took my pictures of my mom's art yesterday the sweetest package so a very sweet human tagged me on instagram and said these are like perfect for your cottage and i was like oh my gosh where'd you find those i love those and she found them at a thrift store in her area and i was like if they're still there and you it's not out of your way if you want to stop by and see if they're still there i will totally buy them from you they're so cute look at these little faces look at the little birds with the brown. So I have a lot of dinnerware that I've been collecting that has these like beige background, brown um, floral kind of accents on them, designs on them for decorative. I mean, they're nothing like special, but I just thought they were so pretty. She, she got me two, there was two of them at the thrift store. I think she said she got them both. I can't remember now, but I think she said she got them both for 20. Love them so much. She is so sweet. I was just reading her card with her daughter. She collects little, little um, things on the beach, little stones on the beach. And I think she called, what were these? Petrified crinoids. Crinoids? Crinoids? That are like three to 500 years old. So she made me these little necklaces. <laughs> They're so sweet. Thank you, Emmy, for sending me these things and for going back and getting these for me. Uh, obsessed so like i said we are going to la today um our flight isn't until one this afternoon so i have a lot of projects or a few projects that i want to complete today um before we have to go it's pretty it's it's about eight right now uh so we don't have to leave until 11. finish up some projects keep filming and then we're gonna head to the airport and kinsley is coming i keep asking her if she packed her bags did you pack your bags am i gonna have to pack them for you as your mama Okay, I do it. We just gotta bring her food and at least one of your Halloween babies. Look at her. One Halloween baby you can bring. So we'll see you guys when we head to the airport.
Hello guys, I'm back in LA. We've actually been back two days. Yesterday, I had to spend the entire day doing something not so fun. My taxes. That was not a great day for me. That is probably the lowest thing on the list of things that I enjoy. Worked on that all day yesterday. I felt like a hermit. I had all the blinds closed. Uh, it was just, I had to focus on that. I've been putting it off for way too long. Funny enough, I thought I was gonna come to LA and have this great weather, California weather. No, I apparently brought all the heat with me. It is supposed to be over 100 this week. Just to put it into perspective, you guys, our apartment here in LA does not have air conditioning. Most of the time, it is not a big deal. It is, we leave our, you know, we have our windows open at night. It cools down the house. Just California is just like a whole different realm of weather. You know, you could just, you could do that and it, and it works. I just fell in love with this apartment and actually, story time, when we actually found this apartment, when we toured it, there were like seven other couples touring this apartment. It felt like a rush. Like it felt like we had to jump on it right away. And it was like rare and the price was really good. And there were, there were just a whole bunch of things. So I felt a lot of pressure. When we toured it, I passed this thing right here. You see this? You know, it goes down to 50 degrees up to 90 thinking it was totally an old school AC thermostat. That's how you functioned and that's, that's what I thought at least. Didn't even bother to ask or whatever we've always had. I know that I'm talking about very much a luxury and like a first world problem. Like this is like not a big deal. The month we moved in, it was like May or June. And when we moved in, I couldn't figure out how to turn it on. I was like lowering it, but it was like the heater. And I was like, there must be another one somewhere. I texted my landlord, new landlord. And I was like, how do you turn on the AC? And he was like, you don't have AC. If there is an AC in the building, uh, you're welcome to put one only in the bedroom back there because that's the only window that will actually work for a, an end window unit. I was like, what? <laughs> what did I just do? Anyways, it's been, it, it's, it really isn't a big deal. This summer is five summers that we've spent here and it was rough to get used to, but then you kind of get, you, you, you realize the flow of things like you can open windows and, and, you know, circulate out the air inside and keeping the windows closed and the blinds closed during the day will help keep the, the air out. It was just, I just love this 1920s apartment and I just had to have it. All that to be said, being over a hundred outside is really hard to keep the house cool really hard, especially in the afternoon. So we're gonna be spending lots of time outside of the house while we're here. We have a lot going on. One of the, the main reason that I'm back in LA is that my best friend's bridal shower is this weekend. So I'm really excited about that. I got that really pretty dress. Wait, let me show you. You guys remember this dress that I ordered that I was just like, this dress is everything and more. It's my like floral, it's just a pretty dress. I feel like, I feel like this is a dress I'll have like forever and hopefully wear more than just once. Really excited for my best friend, really excited to wear this dress. So yesterday I spent doing my taxes. Today I spent getting all of my mom's art ready. So it is live when you're watching this. If you haven't checked it out already, all of the pieces. I'm actually going to, right now with you guys, I'm actually going to order um, the Deep in Bloom, the one that I'm obsessed with. Like I cannot believe my mom painted that. I'm gonna order the Deep in Bloom because I really want to put it in this frame. It's everything. I need it for this bedroom. Uh, I wanted her to give it to me for this frame, but she would not. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to have one printed. Um, and I just think it'll go really well with like, kind of like the look that we have in here and like the warmth colors. It's just, it's epic. So let's do that together so I can show you how I do it and where I get them from. And we'll take, I'll take this off so we can measure how wide this is. This is a 11 by 14. That's a pretty standard size. Isn't this beautiful with the like, like chocolate velvet? Right, Kinsley? Look, she looks framed. Look at her. <laughs> I thought that would be so pretty in there. So, so I tested a company a few months ago and I let you guys know that I really liked it. I don't, I don't know them. I just was like looking around and trying to find a place that was really easy to print art and that had really good quality. And they also have like different paper options, but it's called the Stack House. And I tested a couple of, excuse me, I tested a couple of different uh, paper 
um, material and I really liked their photo rag. It had some texture to it, but it wasn't overly texture. Um, their cold press was also really good. Um, so it, it, it had like a luster to it. It was just like a great matte kind of finish. And I get them on foam core board already so they're mounted so they're super easy to just put into the frame you literally put it in tape up the back you're solid you've got a, a print so let's see how much it is uh to print hopefully my mom won't charge me for the digital download <laughs> let me record my screen so you guys can see it i'm gonna upload an image also figured out a really great way to get you guys um higher quality downloads because etsy would kind of like compress the file or what they would do is not allow me to upload a really large file of the art so i kind of bypass that step and you you download like a, a pdf to click to download a really high file so that's how you're going to be able to print up to like 24 inches wide by 30 to 32 inches tall depending on the the, the art um and so i've already tested it so i can guarantee that that's going to like be really really good quality and then over here on the side you can select your size so we need what did i say 11 by 14 and then you can kind of like crop in you know, obviously different frames are gonna have different widths versus heights. I upload the original art as is, like the, the largest, widest portion. So you guys can crop on your own. This orange square will allow you to crop out exactly what you want. So you have like luster photo paper, glossy, metallic glossy. I didn't try that one, I don't know what that one is. Hot press, cold press, photo wrap. I think they've introduced more. Canvas board, you can also do it on a canvas board if you don't have a frame. Um, or a loose print canvas. Well, we're gonna do photo rag. So one I really like. Flush mount to white foam board. So it's $28.49. Check out. So it's gonna get it. So it's super easy. You can print, you can literally print any size up to what we recommend or what we can guarantee is going to be like really good quality. That is usually around the 24 to 30, 32 inch size. So today is actually really exciting. We are gonna be going to look at houses. Um, I'm not going to film it. My realtor texted me that we have some private showings. I found myself last time filming, uh, worrying more about filming so you guys could see what we were seeing more than actually looking at the houses. And I know that this is going to be such a long process. And so I really need to like look, go in, really digest what I'm looking at. I think a lot more people are going to be like, why are you not living in the cars? Why are you being in LA? So I saw in our future, I wanted a place comfortable that was next to my parents that we could go and stay for longer periods of time. We got a great deal on the property when we bought it. The property values have already increased in, in town. So that you guys can understand like the town itself, it's about 45 minutes outside of a city. It's a lot slower paced. It's um, has a lot, my, my neighbors are um, really amazing, but they're much, much older than I am. The town just feels very retirement vibe. No offense or shade to the town at all. It's just a diff. It's at a different stage in life than we're in. You know, we're like young, ready to start a family, thinking about school districts, and I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed to be thinking about? I don't know. There's nothing that you guys don't know. But that's where our mindsets are, and we've always, always, always planned to have a home in LA. That was that was really our goal. That was that's my been my goal since I was a little girl. LA is a place, I guess. I didn't know this, but I guess it's either a love or a hate relationship. I love LA. I have made so many great friendships and my friends are here that are you know, born and raised in Los Angeles. And we are looking outside of the hustle and bustle of the city, uh, so more privacy more like calmer more like family vibe kind of thing um and so a yard for kinsley to run around in kind of thing i'm a big planner and i love to try and plan as much as i can especially things in my life and romeo and i's plan has always been to have a house here so we are starting the journey and then we kind of started early and we have our retirement home now <laughs> in in you know, Texas, which just for our lives just makes so much sense. Um, so 
We're gonna be going to look at houses, which is really exciting. My realtor just has like a list of properties that she's lined up for us to go look at. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me there so that you guys can kind of be up to date. I'll probably, I'll probably show things there because we are very much ready to leave this apartment behind. If you can't hear the noise that is happening outside or the lack of AC, or the lack of parking. There are a lot of challenges with this apartment that we have dealt with for a really long time um, that we're just ready to move on from. So hoping, hoping, hoping we can find something by spring of next year so that we can move in. <laughs> I also wanna go see Drew's house while we're here to see the progress that he's made. And now that my taxes are done, I can actually text him and be like, I'm here, I'm go knock on the door and let me in. Um, I, want to, I want him to take me to some of those antique shops that he's been finding in LA. I felt like I haven't ever like, had any reason to go to any salvage yards here in LA because that all started when we were in Texas. So I know where they are in Texas, but I don't know here. So I'd love for him to take me there. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the bridal shower and we're also going to Disneyland next week, right before I head back to, to Texas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for more uh, things that we're gonna be doing in LA. And then we'll be back to the kitchen renovation because when I tell you, Romeo and I completed half a beam on the ceiling in the kitchen in the in the cottage and when i tell you you're going to be mind blown you're going to be mind blown it is beyond and i didn't even take a picture of it why i don't know i have the footage obviously of what i filmed but like i did not take a picture of it but it is absolutely epic i can't wait to go back and like work on the rest but i need to spend a lot of time with them it's gonna be so epic stay tuned i will see you guys again next week for more vlogs kinsley are you gonna say bye to everybody they want to know if you are happy to be back in la hmm? you get to walk out the windows at people she's just like so alert here she's like what's that